Hello, hello everybody, hope you are doing well, and welcome back to another episode of FC Andorra. Yes, we're back again at this beautiful nation with our second season campaign. Last episode, we brought in a bunch of new signings, as well as that, did alright. I say we did alright, we slipped a lot as well. So, eh, just annoying to be honest with you. But moving on, as we look at the squad, and the real talking point was Bradley Fink. And I set the challenge for him. You've got to get 20 goals in this episode. If not, you're gone. Will he be able to set up for the challenge? And we are in January. With the budget being £4 million being left over from last summer window, I thought about it. So, let's see who I get. And you think my threat to Bradley Fink was real? Yes, it is. Because this guy is coming in next season on pre contract. So you better deliver, Bradley Fink, or you're looking straight in the eyes of your replacement. Fear Nino will be joining us in season number three. And the squad hasn't changed, to be honest with you. I don't think I want to make much improvement, as literally we're going to be moving on. Hopefully we'll do well with the match highlights, and let's just hope for the best. As we then travel to our first game of the match highlights against Lugger. Wait a minute. Lugarnes? Oh no. Hernandez! Quick! Hide! If not, wrap yourself in bubble wrap for crying out loud. Oh gosh, last time I faced this team, they were absolutely picking poor Hernandez. I don't know what they got against Cubans, but for crying out loud. Oh, let's try and do well. Get the three points and get Hernandez as far away as this place as possible. And to be fair, someone took my threat really, really well. As Cesar Castello plays it across to Bradley Fink, who opens up the scoreline. Makes it 1-0, but the real crucial thing is he's finally getting those goals. Is it going to be more than enough to save his career at FC Andorra? Well, hope time will find that out. And to be honest with you, I'm trying to find out how this was an onside goal. Because we played it across and Caesar scored. Of course he's going to score right, but how the heck is he onside? But moving on from that. Frink had to try and get as much goals as possible as he managed to get a shot outside the box and pass the Leganis goalkeeper. Three points get in, but two goals down for Fink and ten more to go to save his job. On to our first home game of the match, Hollows of Tascania. I, I want to say, I'm going to butcher that, but heck, Fink is not butchering those shots in front of goal as he's able to increase his goals early right here. Really, he's really fighting for his place in FC Andorra, making it 1-0. But someone who I'm actually getting second thoughts here, I'm actually having a quick look at it. One through button. Yes, I don't know why Ika Alvarez went forwards. I didn't tell you to go forwards. And yeah, that could really cost us, you know. Just don't. Why? Just why? But heck, even though we were scroll down for a very sloppy goal. Fink tried to get a shot off, but he had no idea how to, but plays it across to Dumbia, and Dumbia was able to seal the win for us. Whew, freaking hell, that was a close one. 2-1 win. And the audacity of my next team, Almira, who offered us a job to be their manager just day before we have got to play the next in the league. Sour pill or what? That... If I said yes, that would be an absolute rage in the comments. So I turned them down in the most calmest and nicest way possible. By scoring a 90th minute scrapper. I'll freaking take it. And Osserman, what did I say? He only scores late goals to give us a win and revenge after Amira. Following up, the boys got rewarded to a trip to Ibiza with our recent good form. As Fink spotted Dumbia and Dumbia spotted the back of the net. I don't know why they keep it. They keep was scared of Dumbia's shot. So he says, duck for cover. And well, the ball just happened in the, for the back of the net. Which, heck, I'll take. And then second off, hello, Elias. Continuing his good form and a double against my former side, Ibiza. We went island hopping next as we went to Ibiza to Tenerife in our next game. And to be honest with you, I don't know what defending is that, and ah, oh, for crying out loud. You did eke it over as dirty there, for crying out loud. 1-0 to Tenerife, and just utter ugliness from that goal. So, from resulting from that, Tenerife were really piling on the pressure, which was good. Because we can catch them on the counter-attack. 
and boy did we how. And who else to be the final deciding factor but Bradley Fink with the shot and equaliser. Heck, he's really fighting for his place as he's gotten us a crucial equaliser. But boy, someone stole the show and it had to be Sis Bloody Fabric, guys. Oh, I'm going to miss you when you retire, mate. I'm utterly going to miss you. He proves day in, day out that he still got it. Uh, but that goal was really spoiled because Tenerife scored a late equaliser, which Alvarez should have saved. Oh, that was disappointing. Look what you did to poor Fabregas. You have set that ruined this wonderful goal. Then next to Alvarez, which I have a real hate relationship with. Because you can see right here, I am literally piling in the shots against them. My gosh. I feel like I've been on a night out to I beef how many shots I've taken against them. But sooner or later, one over the top through ball into Elias, who did not let me down. And phew, finally I can say I can beat this bloody side. But I wanted to get the secure goal, you know, just get a little bit confident right here. More shots to the pile. Come on, none of them are literally going in. And what did Alvarez do with their first shot of the game? Got the equaliser. This game could really alamenda. And the opponent didn't get no bear. As Candice, first place, Candice, or our next opponent away. As literally just open as you like. Nothing Alvarez can do about that. And you can see why their first is an absolute heartbreaking goal just before the half. So second off, we decided to kick it into another level. And we're trying to cook up a storm. As we play it across to Arnel Hernandez. We have an absolute lovely equaliser, finally getting to fight back into this FC Andorra side. But by gosh, this defenders we have do not have fight. As what the fuck was that? My centre back is running away, he's scared of the fucking ball. I'm taking you to therapy over balls for crying out loud. I give Alvarez a lot of stick, but he needs defenders to support them. Oh, so we're back, a goal down. So we have to perform something out of this world. And by God, as the shot, a goal to match that magnificent bid of his gave us a crucial point against first place Candes. How? I don't know. Why? I don't know why you're asking that. But bloody hell, we've gotten something out of this. And now it's on to Sporting He Hard. Oh yeah, I remembered when you batted me 3 now. This, my friends, is called revenge, as we absolutely batted them 3-0. Karma is served. So up next, there's another Catalan nation that is Espanol, who desperately want those automatic promotion spots. And by God, they proved it right here, as my defense was falling asleep, distracted by the scenery, as the, even though Ike Alvarez made the save, they got the rebound, which really pissed me off, honestly. So annoying right here. Why can't my defenders just focus? And someone was focusing. And that was Bradley Fink. Who was focusing as getting as much goals as possible. As he's able to give us the equaliser. So you fought. Because the shot got deflected off the defenders. And resulting in an own goal. That has got a hit. Because that could really cost him his place at FC Andorra. And to be fair... Even though he was licking his wound, so were the Espanol defenders. Because Elias, I swear to God, you are an amazing player for us. Gives us the lead. 2-1. Job settled, done, finito. I need to learn Catalonia, but heck, it should be done and dusted, right? Well, let's say that striker had a shot and it was straight at Ike Alvarez. Who didn't fucking save the shot? I've had my chances with you, and yet you're still fucking up. <sighs> and to be fair, we need a 10 out of 10 performance. And oh, I forgot we had Elias. I fucking love you, mate. I, I swear down. I, I'm just speechless. He's able to give us a win. But is that win mean automatic promotion spots? Let's find out. So, with our final table, it was not enough to get the automatic promotion spot as we finish off just a few points behind Espanol those hiccups really hurt us bad at least the good news is Bradley Fink can have more games to get the goals because that means we're in the playoffs and oh wait 
I'm getting deja vu again. As we're against Wesker yet again. And I'm going to learn from a mistake from last time. As I'm going to sim the first leg in the semi-finals. Which we won 2-0. Which was a one less better than we did last year. But this time we're going to be playing at the Estadio Nacional. We're going to get the job done and move on to the finals. I'm that confident we're going to do it. Boys, here we are again. Playoff semi-finals against Wojska yet again. This should be it. This should be done, dust it finito, right? Well, I'm hoping no more hiccups. We can't screw up in the playoffs. Let's just wave that Andorran flag proud. Come on, boys. Let's bloody do it. Nice and easy. Hernandez. Tamelu into Hernandez. Into Fabregas. Fabregas through ball to, to Elias. Lovely through ball. Oh, wait a minute. I've got to go to the thing. But Hernandez. Oh. Hernandez. Hernandez. Connection was not enough to get the first goal. Pass into Hernandez. Hernandez through balls it into Elias. Elias trying to spot someone. He spots Fabregas. This could be his last game. Through balls into Cesar Castello. This might not be Fabregas' last game for us. As he's able to make it 3-0 on aggregate. Well, Caesar made it 3-0. But the assist, it was prime Fabregas at his days. Corner. Oh, Roshima heads up in the air. Get rid of it. There we go. Oh, but got tackled easy. Not a foul. Are you serious? Tackle. There we go. Dumbia got plays around him. Now, pass it again. Caesar Castello trying to spot. Oh, couldn't spot. I was going to say we're trying to do a counter. I should maybe don't shut down an over top through ball with that. But oh, there we go. Oh, no. Defense. It's wide open. Come on, Ika. That's a pathetic effort for a save. Defense let him on side. And it's 1 1. Or should I say. 3-1. Pass. And this is not what I want. I don't want him getting back in this. There we go. Mud up. Poor pass. Dumbia. Through balls it to Caesar Castello. Come on. Through ball it. Think. You've got to score this. And he has scored this. There we go. Getting back our lead. It's Bradley Fink. Able to continue his good goal scoring tally. But will it be enough to save his career at FC Andorra? Not long as they've just kicked off. Can we just able to get to tackle? A great tackle from Hernandez into Elias. Elias makes a good ball into the thing who plays it off to... Oh no, Hernandez! That should be more than enough to secure the finals of the playoffs. Fabregas on the ball. Plays across to Elias. Elias into Cesar Castello. Into the thing. The thing. Gonna go for a shot. Just wide. And that's half time. That would have been pretty much game done and dusted. But it is pretty much game done and dusted right here. 3-1. Which is what? 5-1 in aggregate. So I believe the game is pretty much done. And instead of making this video longer than it is. I'm just going to sim the rest of this first half. And then off we'll just see how it goes on from there. And there we go. Full time. 4-2 final score. Which is 6-2 on aggregate. That means a place in the finals for FC Andorra. Sorry, Wesker. How about another time? But let's move on to the playoff finals. And I can't believe who I've got in the flipping finals. Alvarez. I've got a real hate-hate relationship with this bloody football club. Every time I play them, I perform 10 out of 10. And every time they get their first shot, they go up the other end and score. So... It's not going to be a very, very easy walk in the park game. Luckily, we've got two legs. So it should be enough. And this is also Seth Fabregas' last time before he retires. So it's final two games. Can we just walk out on a high? Especially for four Seth Fabregas? Let's find out. Boys, we're out here live yet again for the playoff finals. But this time, I didn't sim the leg. We're going to be playing both of them. Alvarez, our opponent, it is very, very hard and very hard, hard to break them down. But hopefully this time we can break them down and win the playoff finals. Let's do it. Come on, FC Andorra. Let's wave that flag in pride. Come on, get a charge right here. Alvarez plays it across to Cesc Fabregas. Into Dumbia. Dumbia into Cesar Castello. Through ball into Elias. Cross it in to Dumbia. Ho, ho. That would have been out of the world over the head kick 
to give us the lead, but the keeper just got a fingertip on that. Dumbia, come on. Lays it across to Elias. Got to try and break this team down. We're going to do it nice and easy. Says Fabregas. Spots Dumbia. Dumbia, come on. Finally. Oh. Not enough as Alvarez's keeper is literally keeping us away from getting the first lead. Corner. Can we be able to do something? Header. Oh, how is he saving this? Seriously, I call hacks right here. And oh no, we've lost the ball. And you know what the old saying is against Alvarez. Every time they get their first shot, it's always a goal. No, can we not let them? Oh, come on, let's just keep them at bay and get a counter-attack. No, they've got an over-top through ball in. Oh, it's not looking good. Plays it across. Opening my defense. And Alvarez saved us. Oh, I can, I'm having flashbacks. But luckily, Alvarez saved us on the day. Corner. Come on. We've got to finally get past this damn keeper. Header. And oh, my God, that's off the line. The keeper didn't get there, but their bloody defender did. Johnson. I'll remember your name because I might have to purchase you if you keep saving them. There we go. Attempt 590 of getting past their goalkeeper. Caesar gets to... Oh, my God. That's unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. And, yeah, stop reminding me from that as well. Corner. Come on. We've got to do something at least. Hernandez. Come on. Plays it across. Don't be a shot lot. Nope. Come on. Oh, man. Just keep going. Keep playing. They can't save them forever. Oh, come on, plays it to the Fink. The Fink! Oh, just over. Oh, we need you to score, Fink. Not miss. Bloody hell. I'm so stressed. I'm just... You know when you're giving everything. I bet I'll get Jordan Best in this game. They can't even score past this keeper. Hernandez. Can he be the difference? Plays it across. Fink. Pass the defenders. Please. He had to score. I'm so happy I scored against this bloody keeper. Finally, Bradley Fink, the Swissman up top, has absolutely been the decisive factor of getting past his Alvarez keeper. Defence has got the ball. Hernandez, come on, just play it easy. We've finally gotten past them, but this doesn't mean we're getting hold back now. Just keep on pulling the pressure. See you Castello, shot, and oh, that's just great. With a guy with 41 shoot and able to produce a goal like that, it's absolutely remarkable. And we're finally getting goals past this damn keeper. Once you fail, you keep trying, 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 and soon we'll be able to butcher them. And now the goals are flying. Johnson. Goal kick up in the air. Half time going to be around anytime soon. Heads it down, but half time is gone. You know what? I'm really happy. We've yet keep Alvarez at bay, which is really surprising with our defenders. But. We're absolutely piling loads of shots. We should be 6-0 up, but two goals is better than none. And let's get into the 45 minutes. Let's keep the defensive head focus and let's continue with the onslaught of shots. Dumbia holds on to the ball. Plays across to Fabregas. Fabregas, Dumbia, play nice and easy. Lovely through ball though. And oh, Cesar Castello post. And the one, the only, says Fabregas. On his final two games, has to come up with a goal. Get in there. I'm so happy Fabregas can have a good farewell story right here. And with a goal as well. 3-0. Throw in for us right here. We throw it long. As Osman, you know he likes a late goal. And it's into the bearded giant. Look at him. The giant goes for it. And that's another. The defence of Alvarez crumbled. The goalkeeper, he's so tired. I've landed on the ground so many times with saves. And we're able to put the final nail. 4-0 in the first leg. Get in. Corner for Alvarez to try and recover something. But it goes up in the air. And referee blows for full time. That is the best first leg ever. Four goals. Get in. And Alvarez have got to travel to Andorra. To at least hope for some miracle. But they won't be meeting a miracle in Andorra. They'll be facing off against FC Andorra at the Estadio Nacional. Let's get into the second leg and the real, real crucial live game. Boy, so much is on the line here today. A place in La Liga and as well as that, a final farewell for Marcus Alonso, who will be leaving at the end of his one-year deal, and the retirement of Cesc Fabregas. 
Can we go out for a win for old Cesc Fabregas? But as well as that, boys, let's just do the best to our ability. Let's not screw this up and get it done and dusted here today in the beautiful nation of Andorra. Come on, boys. Let's wave that flag with pride. Kick off on the spot. And Alvarez have literally got to go guns blazing right here. As Oh, we've just won the ball off them easily. And they're also tired. I've been giving my squad Sean Dyke's fitness trials right here. And Hernandez. And oh, what a perfect start to the game. Oh, no. Hernandez, the Cuban. Strike first. And five goals. The mountain for Alvarez just got a lot tougher. Into Elias. Into Cesar Castello. Plays it across to Hernandez, who's done well. He's done fantastically. The shot, and that's another, another goal, and another goal for Alvarez to catch up by. 6 0 in aggregate, and I'm going to say it within under what, under 10 minutes? Mm, that tastes like promotion. Can we just able to get more pressure on Alvarez now? Header goes straight up in the air into Diego. Diego, not with the best touches possible, but heck, we still got it. Cross it in the thing. Ah. Oh. That could really cost you in the final runs right there, Bradley Fink. I'm just saying. I'm st even though he's been good the second half of the season, my tally still stays. Cesar Castello holds onto the ball. Lovely run through balls it into Hernandez. Hernandez into Cesar Castello and the keeper. Finally able to make up with a good save right there. But damn, I wanted that goal. Through ball into the Fink. Fink. Desperately trying to think of an opportunity. Sorry, the puns. I'm just, I'm in such an abandoned, witty mood now because pretty much Elias is literally driven through the defence, finding Hernandez for his hat trick. But oh, that's a brilliant save. They just won't be dead and buried yet, Alvarez. They're just still keeping in it with an absolute crucial save. What a save! Oh, I'm trying to get something over here. Pass it. Alvarez wants to at least get an effort in. That slight tackle right in. Come on. Come on, cross it in, shot, good save of Ike Alvarez. Wait, why are you getting... Oh, yeah, the tackle. Still, you didn't play the advantage enough, and I thought I'd go away with that. Heck, halftime's coming around any minute now. Let's just try and deal with this last threatening corner, and the referee, are you going to blow for halftime there? No, you're not. Oh, okay, then, uh, plays it back. Come on, defend. Oh, God, oh, good interception, though. Into Dumbia, and that should be halftime. Yep. What can I say? Great performance. We're coming out swinging right here. And Alvarez are just hitting the duck and trying to defend for their lives. But still, 45 minutes. I'm pretty confident to say La Liga, here we come. Trying to go for something right here, Alvarez. The game's been quite quiet. And that's an understatement right here. That's Alvarez. Look like they want to go for their first shot. Try to play across. Oh, I don't know what my fullback's doing. Mario! Ah! Oh. I really would have left a clean sheet, but heck. At least it sends the Alvarez fans home happy, to be honest with you. What is it now? 6-1? I've lost count, to be honest. Counter-attack. Come on. Point defensive and through ball. Tackled. Yes. Good work from my player, but he lost it. But he's able to win it again with another brilliant tackle. I may give my defender stick, but heck, he's playing the assist to Bradley Fink. And that could be an absolute crucial goal for the Fink. 3-1. 7 1 in aggregate. We're going to the league, but is that the goal to save Bradley Fink's FC Andorra career? Free kick for Alvarez. And it doesn't matter if this goes in or not. The result stays the same. As literally plays it across, good interception, cleared it away, and full time has blown at the Estadio Nacional. Yes, folks, we have done it. La Liga in season number three. We had to do it the hard way, but by gosh, the teams that we face learn from the hard way as we have able to win promotion. And it's a good farewell story for Cesc Fabregas and Marc Alonso. More for Cesc Fabregas as he's retired at the end of the season. I would love to keep you for another season in La Liga, but uh, if you want to end your career on a high, I don't blame you. The trophy may not be as big as the Premier League, or the World Cup, but it will mean so much for you. Your last trophy with us. Thank you ever so much, says Fabregas. And I'll tell you right now, folks, I am so happy for the rest of this team to get into La Liga football with the second attempt. I can't wait for it. 
Hope you lot look forward to season number three. But we need to find out the crucial top goal scorers. Did Bradley Fink save his career? So, the real, real moment of truth. Did Bradley Fink save his career? Let's find out. Oh, he just done it. With 22 goals, Bradley Fink, with those two goals in the playoffs, saved his career at FC Andorra. So he'll be joining us for the third season with FC Andorra in La Liga. As well as that, Elias, my honest opinion, player of the season with 21 goals, followed up by Hernandez, 17, and the bearded giant with 10. With the most assists, we'll actually go for Cesar Castello with 25, and Bradley Fink pops up with 11. Boys, well done for you lot. You have absolutely done it. We had little hiccups that cost us automatic, but we went for the long road in the playoffs and we absolutely smashed it. Can't wait for season number three. La Liga, be ready because you're not going to be facing against a Spanish nation. You're going to be facing off against an Andorran as FC Andorra travels to La Liga. I hope you look forward to that episode as well as that many more coming up for this career mode. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, subscribe for the channel for more career mode content. And I'll see you lot later.